Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Mad Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for a four pipe fan cooler unit. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Mad Tech. Today we have a service call for a four pipe fan cooler unit. In my previous visit I found that the actuator for the hot water valve was faulty and we're here to replace it. Here's our unit. We have four pipes, a supply and return for heating and a supply and return for cooling. During my last visit, I found that this bypass was open and that was because this actuator, which is actually this one, wasn't responding to their BMS system. So this unit is controlled by a computer. So they have access. But anyways, I found that this actuator was bad it's right here it goes on top kind of hard to get to because of all these pipes but we're here to change this piece this is the actuator this is a pretty simple one it works off 24 volts and it has a spring return so 24 volts to open and once you lose the power it has a spring return and shuts off in a closed position here i picked up the new parts came in the mail by radwell international Here's a new actuator. Thing is, you look here, this is a sealed bag and it came with candies. I got Tootsie Rolls and then bubble gum. Have no idea what that's about. I'm definitely not eating that. <laughs> so, let's go ahead and open this up. I did actually test this prior to coming. It does work. So we just have two wires, black and red. And then this right here, sits on a base on top of the actuator valve and pretty much there's a stem here and you lock this down on the stem and there's also a little knock a locking piece that we're going to connect over here and let's go ahead and get started so here is the valve and up to up here is the bracket that the actuator sits on Let's see if I get a camera up there. So here is the stem. You're gonna put that in there, lock it down. And in the back, it's hard to see, or well, right here, a little uh, connector is gonna go on there. Let's see if we can take a look at the other one so we can see exactly. Hopefully you guys can see but on the back here, there's like a little clip and that's part of the mounting. So this is that little clip and pretty much this part is gonna lock down on that base and this just slides in to the valve, the actuator, just like this, see? Just sits in there and just locks it down and this side, we lock down onto the shaft. Now it's gonna be a little bit tricky to mount this, but piece with the stem is the top part this side is the back let's go ahead and see if we can mount this okay and then this little clip with the wing nut has to go back on all right got that little got a little bracket on so it's holding to keep it in place and now we have to just tighten down the other side of the stem. Alright, so if we look up top, this is super tight. Right here, we're just going to tighten this down. Alright, it's on there. It seems a bit secure. From here, we got to connect our wires. All right, so here's the old actuator and it's gonna be these two wires, the white and black, okay. Gotta make sure the power's off as well. All right, so the wires are kind of just hanging here. Got one wire coming in. These two energize the cooling relay and these two energize the heating relay. So we have a communication board 
that sends 24 volts to the relay and then it sends it back here and that's how these actuators work but we got it installed this is the bypass so we can close this all right this one is open that one is open turn make sure our returns are open all right all right so the thermostat is currently locked out and i can't get in touch with anyone so what i did is i actually sent 24 volts to this actuator let's pay attention you see that little locking screw it's to the left i have it open right now now what i gotta do is if i take this off watch it spin see it's closing that's a spring spring return so we just killed the 24 volts to it awesome it did open the valve we did get heating and now it closed i'm going to double check temperatures again awesome so I'm stop great it's seated I gotta put all this back. It's looking a little crazy. I'm gonna be careful because 24 volts in my hand right now. All right, this valve closed. This one opened, and our temps dropped. Even though the chiller is not on right now, you know it's still not gonna be pushing through 100 plus degree water. So temps came down. Everything's cool. I just wanna call the engineer so he can operate this off his computer let's just make sure everything all the wiring is correct because during my last visit when he was calling for heating the cooling valve was opening and then when you're calling for cooling the heating was getting power so it was crossed up so i'm just gonna double check that to confirm but that was pretty much it if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week and i'll catch you all next time Thank you.